out there after Christmas. My family, they they watched the services and uh, we had a guest come over. I cooked, I cooked a wonderful meal and after everything was done, man, I collapsed on the couch. I was exhausted. Little TV and then went to bed early. And my wife was so kind as to feed the dogs this morning because they start barking. Hungry, hungry guys. Anyway, uh, I didn't give uh, too much thought to the poem today. I just picked one out of the air, one of my historical ones. Yes, one of my more complicated ones. I was going to um, give you a real light one, but no, I'm into, I'm into my historical ones. This one is about Mr. H. Who is Mr. H? Well one of the most despised dictators around. I, I, I just, his very name gives me disgust. World War II, Mr. H, Conqueror, Evil. You know who I'm talking about. Anyway, I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, if you get anything out of this poem, it's... Uh, that the United States did not do enough to stop this man from doing all his atrocities. Very similar to Napoleon. He uh, blew it when he attacked Russia. Don't be attacking Russia. The weather, that cold weather, you, you just can't fight over there. You freeze to death. Anyway, it's called High Ada. Hey Adolf, how you doing buddy? <laughs> Funny title, huh? Okay, here it goes. Hey Adolf, how you doing buddy? Still playing in the bathtub with your toy subs? Dreaming of the day you can stick it to your dad and mom? They say you were not treated very nicely by your teachers, that you were not a very good artist, but a good orator. That's for sure, you put that to good use. That's a compliment to you, sir. I see you wrote a book called Mein Kampf, but no one paid attention. That's a shame. We could have avoided lots of unnecessary pain. Adolf, what's with your hatred of commies and Jews? What did they ever do to you? What was that all about? I haven't a clue. Do you? A scapegoat you needed, or was it truly a hatred for them? Adolf, I have to hand it to you, guy. You had the best looking uniforms and the best tanks. Made ours look like a matchbox. The Sherman tank is what I'm talking about. Not so small, even the size of a small car. You had the best rocket scientists like Von Braun. And you would have scrambled fast enough. You could have had Einstein on your side. I read you had no faith in atomic weapons that you're lost because it packs quite a punch. Just ask the Japanese. They got a taste of it. Believe me, it made them sneeze. Nothing to be proud of. It was a total catastrophe. Perhaps even a war crime. This you have to see and also agree. Attacking civilians is not a, a very good deed. Such a wonderful people, the Japanese. How did you ever fool them into your schemes? And the Italians... All they like to do is drink wine and make love. You got that fat Mussolini to be on the attack. Well, after the war, he got his ass dragged through the streets in a city like called Napoli. Tell me why you attacked the Russians. They were ready to be on your side. Did you not learn anything from history? You know that little guy from France. I want to ask... And I'm dying to know, did you have a good time with those Australian whores? <laughs> Chatel is really what it says here. Did you ever lie with some of those French sexy maids? And your officers sure did. And those women after the war were ostracized, is the word, and had their hair shaved off. They were called collaborators. It was not a pleasant sight. Something 
to think about, that is for sure. World War II, a stain on the German people. Fifty million died of, because of you, and six million of them were Jews. I suppose you knew me. I would have cooked too, since I'm a Jew. Sorry to tell you this, but we are still around. But it was a very good try to get rid of us. General Patton kicked your royal ass in the desert, even if you had Rommel the Rat. We kicked your ass in the air, even if you did have fancy jets. We kicked your ass in the oceans, even if your subs were superior. We pushed back the Japanese on the islands. Oh, yes, that attack on our Navy in Hawaii did sting a bit, but nothing like what we gave back to them. Now they are our best friends. Mr. Churchill from England will be remembered for his speeches, rallied his people to stick it to the Nazis. I hope you enjoyed that. Even your generals turned their backs. I did not fight in the war. I was not even born. But I learned a lot. You were a dictator like no other in all of the time. And what did you get out of it? An early grave. Some say you're still alive, that you escaped. Well, if you did, good for you. I suppose you're giving us the finger to this day in a wheelchair saying, Hooray, I'm still alive like Papillon. Well, that was heavy. Gave me goosebumps. I like I like uh, to read about wars and soldiers, and I'm not a I'm I can never be one, but uh, I enjoy every little boy or man likes to read about stuff like that. For some reason, I don't know why. Anyway, you have a nice holiday. Thank you. And New Year's is coming. Bye.